If you've had insomnia for a long time, it's quite common that you have a lot of concern over sleep duration because you remember getting maybe seven or eight hours of sleep at night. Now maybe you're getting five or six and you want to get back to where you were before. Unfortunately, your memory of how long you used to sleep may not be very accurate. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Hi, I'm Martin Reed. If you have insomnia, I offer sleep coaching programs that will give you all the skills and support you need to enjoy better sleep for the rest of your life. You can learn more at insomniacoach.com. When I work with clients, particularly those who have had insomnia for a very long time, thinking years, perhaps even decades, many of them will tell me that they want to get back to sleeping how they used to i.e. they want to be able to get eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. This is a common initial goal that people state when they start working with me. But unfortunately, this isn't really a good goal to have because we can't control sleep duration. So as soon as we make sleep duration a goal, it's going to be really hard for us to meet that goal because we can't control sleep duration. And every night when we don't meet that goal, we're just going to become more worried and more frustrated and that makes sleep more difficult. So it, it, it does make sense that people reflect back and think, I used to get eight hours of sleep, so why can't I get that now? Why is that not a reasonable goal? Back when we had no struggle with insomnia, we rarely think about sleep. Sleep is something we give no time and no attention to. So we get into bed, we fall asleep, we wake up in the morning, we get out of bed, and that's that. So if you ask someone who doesn't struggle with insomnia how much sleep they get, they probably just think about the time they went to bed at night and the time they get out of bed in the morning, figure out the total number of hours between those two times, and just tell you that. So for example, if someone goes to bed at 11 o'clock at night and gets up at seven o'clock in the morning, they'll just tell you, I got eight hours of sleep. Now it's very unlikely that they got eight hours of sleep because we don't always fall asleep immediately as soon as our head hits the pillow. It can take us up to around half an hour to fall asleep. It's also completely normal to wake during the night and spend time awake during the night. And it's also quite normal to wake before our alarm goes off. So although this person in the example I just gave got out of bed at 7, they could have woken up at say 6.30, 6.45, maybe even a little bit earlier, but they felt calm and relaxed. And then when their alarm went off, that was when they got out of bed. So when you add up all these small moments of awakenings, uh, let's say it took half an hour to fall asleep, maybe half an hour spent awake during the night, maybe 15 minutes to half an hour uh, awake in the morning before getting out of bed, we've got and between an hour and an hour and a half of wakefulness during that sleep period, which puts us to say between six and a half and seven hours of sleep. If your goal is to sleep how you used to, it's really important to recognize that you probably didn't sleep perhaps as well or for as long as, you're, as you remember. Because back in the good old days, you didn't really think about sleep. So you just presumed that the entire amount of time you spent in bed was time spent asleep. And this is quite an inaccurate memory when you think about it. Uh, the problem, the difference is now that you have insomnia, you're paying a lot of attention to your sleep. So you notice every single moment of wakefulness. So I just wanted to make this short video because so many people have these kind of unrealistic sleep expectations. First of all, we don't want to make sleep duration a goal. We want to make sleep quality a goal. We want to make sleep feel good again. We want to sleep to get to the point where you no longer really think about it. You no longer really worry about it and you regain confidence in your ability to sleep. And then once you do these things and you're not really thinking about sleep anymore, sleep becomes a lot easier and you'll feel better. You'll be able to sleep easier and you'll feel better during the day. And who knows, you may even eventually get to that point where you're not assessing your sleep duration every night. So once again, you start to just assume that all the time you spend in bed is spent asleep instead of 
wake. So I hope you found this short video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I try and share a short sleep snippet video every weekday. If you have any questions, comments, feedback or suggestions for a future video, please leave a comment below or you can email me directly. My email address is hello at insomniacoach.com. I hope to see you back here again soon and remember you can sleep.